Hey guys, how's it going? What a remarkable change it is when I actually like <laughs> do my hair. Do my hair. I say that because most people that have been around me, like my friend Kelly Gregorakis down in um, Miami, when she was coming into the restroom one time because the door was open and I was, you know, flat ironing my hair. I think that's what it's called, flat iron. You know, she's like, do you know that you actually have to, you know, have a technique and you, you actually have to do it longer. Like I was going, tss, tss, you know, and she's like, now I don't have curly hair. I do it more to just, you know, kind of get these little stringies, whatever. I don't have, I do not have patience for sitting in front of my mirror and doing that stuff. So it's very, very difficult for me. Um, to attempt to have patience. So quite frankly, I usually end up looking like I have Bon Jovi hair back in the days when Bon Jovi hair was big and just ratty. And you know what? I'm down with that. So also here's your flex guys. Bearing in mind that I'm flexing with not a, what do I say? You know, I kind of hesitate to flex because it's not like I'm saying, wow, look at, look at all the work I've been doing. Remember, I've had quite a lot of ups and downs the past, uh, I have to kind of look at my, my consistency. Um, but I am dealing with a few things and hopefully one of the most important things is I'm gonna be meeting with Corey um, because this shoulder, which is the shoulder I injured, I, I hesitate to use the word injured because I don't, I kind of feel like it's just an overuse thing. Um, this shoulder is just all jacked again. So I can't do overhead presses. Um, today, this morning in my workout, I was trying to do some push-ups. That was bothering me. Um, so when Corey worked on me and, and cured me, I use that word, cured. I don't know what you'd call it. Um, it's not like I had a disease. <laughs> but anyway, when he fixed this, this was, um, I could probably pinpoint exactly when it was. Um, two years ago, maybe, I had the same thing. And, and this shoulder was so bad that when I would get in the car and go to put my seatbelt on, or if I was putting a coat on or anything, it just, it hurt so badly. And certainly doing overhead presses, I can do overhead presses like this, but overhead, see overhead press like that, I feel it. Not like stabbing pain, but enough that I know I shouldn't be pushing it. So usually I can end up doing with lighter weights, uh, a certain amount of overhead presses, but then I get to the point where I just have to stop. So Whitney was like, when I was training out in Phoenix last time, because she had me doing some uh, overhead presses on this one machine and I had to stop because I told her, I'm like, it, it's really uncomfortable. So I'm hoping, incidentally, when Corey worked on me, it, see, I'm jacking it again. It, it wasn't my shoulder, it was, it was my neck. Oh my God, I should not have done everything. I'm serious, like, it feels really uncomfortable. I shouldn't have done all that movement. I hope I haven't screwed up my whole day. Doesn't that look funny? <laughs> it's just my shoulder moving like that. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna keep it short. Uh, it is Sunday. I shot another video before I did my workout. I went in and I worked out at home. I did a really old school uh, workout from Kathy Friedrich, it was called. And it's one of my favorites, but considering what I think Whitney is gonna be moving me into as far as like a next phase of training, um, we're just gonna, you know, chunk it up every quarter, kind of change things up and whatnot. Especially now, I, I kind of look at now as, now that we've started the whole bioidentical hormonal replacement treatment system, whatever, system, procedure, blah, 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 process. Let's look at now as my starting point, right? Now I'm off the pill. Now I'm on this treatment. Now we can start measuring. Like I kind of look at before, you know, I've been consistent. Wow, I have calluses. Um, I've been consistent, uh, my eating has been good, but I've had you know quite a lot of bumps on the way, <laughs> no pun intended, I have a couple on my neck, um, on the way to getting treatment. So um, in my book, I'm kind of looking at, I just have an itch, um, I'm kind of looking at now as the starting point when I'm gonna measure things, like weighing myself now, measuring myself now, because now we're progressing, whereas before, you know, <laughs> I give myself credit for continuing to stay consistent and getting my training in and having a good attitude because, you know, really until I got off of the birth control pill and until I started having treatment, it was almost like just treading water. And it was a really frustrating time, guys. It was frustrating for me to, to have 
come to the conclusion and understand all of the things that affect my metabolism personally and my um, body and to know, you know, I got to the point, I was just saying this to somebody else, you know, the past several years, when I have been on the spironolactone, I'm still on the spironolactone right now, we have to do a process of weaning me off of that, um, but when I've been on that and the pill, um, it jacked up my body and screwed up my, especially the weight around the core, that's when I would get bloated and, and gain even more weight around my middle, and made, it made me even more paranoid. Um, so working out during those times, it was like, you know, it just kind of kept me, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Maintaining where I was. I, sorry, I thought I saw something really funny. Um, so I give myself credit for continuing to work hard and train hard, even when I knew that I wasn't going to be making the great progress that I, I know I will number one, when I'm off the pill, but number two, when I get all of these beautiful um, things that are wrong with me and jacked up internally fixed, you know, when my insulin is, is working normally, when my um, hypothyroid situation is more managed. I don't know if you ever cure a hypothyroid situation or if it's, or if it's just managed better. I don't know if I'm using the right terms, but um, again, I, I give myself credit for sticking with it, but now we're really looking at, you know, this point forward as my true starting point because now is when big changes over time are going to be starting to happen inside of me that will affect what I'm working on on the outside. And the biggest thing, you know, that I have to focus on, I've talked to you guys about this before, I know a lot of you, um, a lot of you deal with similar, whether we want to call them personal issues or not, but I have been so, there's two things. I have had such a perfectionist complex. Um, I have it with work, I have it with myself. Um, I think that everything about me has to be absolutely perfect and when it's not, I just beat myself up. I have been this way my whole life and I share it with you guys not because I think it's cool or funny. I mean, frankly, it's a little bit embarrassing when I share some of the stuff. You know, I'm not proud to go, you know, I've shared in the past when I've figured things out about myself like, hey, when I get angry, I want to go eat bad food. I, I just, I don't know why I do it, but that's what happens. If I get pissed, I'm like, I'm going to Burger King. And that's my immediate reaction. Why do I do that? You know, have I peeled the layers back enough to figure out why I self-sabotage like that? I don't do it anymore because I've figured that stuff out. But um, it's really, I'm, I'm seeing how much and how hard I've been on myself. And that kind of discouragement is horrible. Like, it's, it, this is nothing new that I'm preaching here, but I'm, I'm so realizing like how much of an encourager I am to other people and how awful I am to myself. And that, I know it can't help. It, it only makes things worse. You know, for me to get up every day and pick myself apart and think that I can't leave the house until I'm the perfect size and my skin is perfect and my hormones are fixed and, you know, that means I'm going to stay in my house the rest of my life. I'm starting to realize this. I didn't want to go to the gym unless I thought I looked okay. And of course, I never thought I looked okay. And, you know, I didn't want to date somebody. I'd always say, oh, I don't want to date anybody right now. I don't want to date until then, you know, until I'm not worrying about the, the job, until my hormones are straightened out, until I've lost this much weight, until I've... I'm more buff because they won't like me. And it's just, it's so, it's so stupid. And I would, if somebody else came to me and they said that they were thinking that way, I would tell them to snap out of it. And I would have all these great things to say about them and say, you know, you've got to stop viewing yourself that way. You've got to be confident. And you know what? I have been the worst about that with myself. It's the number one thing I'm going to focus on going forward is, you know what? I deserve to be happy. I deserve to treat myself better. I deserve to have confidence all the time, not just when I've reached my fitness goals or when, you know, I've got to stop being so insecure about myself. And even though that's not being insecure, that's just having a pet peeve. Um, you know, thinking that I have to be perfect, you know, obsessing over the fact that everybody out there is picking me apart. Who cares if they're picking me apart? You know, none of us are perfect. I'm on my way. I'm doing the best I can. And you know what? My number one goal on my new little hashtag that I'm using is better than my yesterday. As long as today 
I'm better than my yesterday, that doesn't mean better than yours. That doesn't mean I'm trying to lift as much as that girl or that guy or make make myself weigh the same thing that that person does or what I read Jennifer Aniston weighs in Us Magazine or whatever. I'm about me and my best. And if I keep getting better, that's good enough for me. So I don't know about you guys, but one of the things I'm working on just as much as my own fitness goals is the whole internal thing, being nicer to myself. It is so important. It's something I have never done. And I'm telling you this, it is something that is going to be my primary goal. Someone's at my door, gotta go.